Uh, this is question six from the June uh, 2011 BY1 paper. Uh, the question is uh, about cell structure, uh, uh, cell organelles, and uh, the functioning of the organelles as well. Okay. Uh, so to start off with then, uh, it says the diagram below shows part of a cell that secretes a hormone into the bloodstream. Now, it's very important now that you've made note that the cell secretes a hormone into the blood. All right. Uh, I know what questions are coming up here. And in order to answer them and get full marks, you need to have remembered this information at the start of the question. OK, now this goes for, for all questions. You, you know, never forget about the information that the examiner has given you. He's given you that information for a reason. All right. And very often you can use that information to help you answer uh, a question. OK, um, so um, let's let's just go straight down to uh, uh, part A. All right. Um, and we can keep the. Uh, diagram in shot now. All right, name structures A and B. Um, so A and B are right next to each other. Okay, so basically uh, A and B are relating to structures inside uh, an organelle. Okay, now uh, the organelle is uh, the mitochondrion okay and uh, you need to identify a and b so a uh, is pointing to the uh, the middle fluid part of the mitochondrion uh, so that would be uh, the matrix okay and b is pointing now to the inner folded membrane uh, which uh, you can call the uh, the christi or the crista OK, so I've just uh, written those answers in for you. Uh, moving on now, uh, part B, explain the functions of structures E and uh, F. So let's scroll up and have a look at uh, E and F. So um, you need to identify uh, these structures. You need to know what they are uh, before you can uh, uh, state their functions. OK. Uh, so uh, E is the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, because the black dots on the surface there are the ribosomes. And uh, F is actually the Golgi body because the Golgi body is a stack of flattened sacs called cisterni. All right. So you can quite clearly see there uh, all these uh, flattened sacs uh, stacked on top of each other. Um, so the functions then, so E is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, a um, uh, few functions of the uh, the rough ER as it's often abbreviated. Uh, it's the cytoprotein synthesis of course uh, because of the ribosomes. Okay, so on the ribosomes you actually start producing and building up your polypeptide chain. It's where the uh, amino acids are joined uh, together. OK, uh, the other function of the rough ER is actually to transport uh, your proteins around the cell. So if I scroll up to the uh, the diagram, OK, the protein will enter uh, inside uh, the rough ER and then it can travel uh, through it uh, to various parts uh, of the cell. Um, OK, uh, F then is the Golgi body. Uh, a number of functions of this organelle as well. Um, one function is that it actually uh, modifies proteins. Um, it can actually sort of add sugar molecules to them to make uh, glycoproteins. OK, um, it can actually form vesicles. All right. Lots of vesicles can be seen budding off uh, the Golgi body when you view an electron microscope image uh, of a cell. OK, um, so you actually have uh, the vesicles budding off and those vesicles are the structures in which the proteins are packaged. All right. So another function is to package proteins um, ultimately for transport either out of the cell or to different parts of the cell. OK, 
Uh, so there's a number of functions of the uh, the Golgi that you could have quoted there. Okay, so uh, for the um, endoplasmic or rough endoplasmic reticulum, I've said this is the site of protein synthesis. Uh, also, E transports proteins. Uh, now I've put E there, all right, um, because you don't actually have to name that organelle. The examiner hasn't asked you, asked you uh, to do that. Uh, so I've put E in there, and that's acceptable. Although if you uh, uh, if you're describing the function of E, you should actually know what it's called. So you could have put uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, in there. Okay, uh, for the Golgi then, uh, proteins are modified by having sugar molecules added to them, and the proteins are then packaged into vesicles for transport to the cell membrane. All right, and that should get you uh, four marks. I've mentioned two things for each organelle because uh, I've made a note there of the actual marks which you should also do as well all right and uh, I've sort of uh, uh, gathered that there would be two marks for each organelle and hence I should be mentioning at least two uh, features uh, in my answers there Okay, part C then. Uh, suggest why this uh, type of cell is likely to contain large numbers of structure C. So if we scroll back up to the diagram, struct uh, structure C, uh, of course, is the uh, mitochondrion. Um, now, why would this cell have lots of mitochondria in it? Well, the clue is right back at the start of the question where you are told that it secretes a hormone. All right. So any cell that acts as a secretory cell um, tends to need a lot of energy, uh, a lot of ATP, because it has to manufacture uh, molecules. Um, in this case, a hormone, which which is a protein. So the cell will have to make that protein, which requires energy, and then it will actually need to uh, secrete it out of the cell, which again is also an active process. Okay, so exocytosis, uh, as I've mentioned in um, in the notes, is is a is an energy dependent process. Okay, so secretory cells certainly need a lot of mitochondria because they are highly dependent on uh, energy for their processes. Uh, there's my answer there for part C. Uh, and as uh, as we'll see when we look at the mark scheme, there are a couple of other options you could have put in uh, to your answer there. But I've just said the cell produces hormones and secretes them, uh, which requires lots of ATP. Uh, both Both those processes are uh, ATP dependent. I've then said which is synthesized in the mitochondria by uh, aerobic respiration. Uh, so I've linked there uh, the the need for ATP with the fact that it's actually made and synthesized in the mitochondria by aerobic respiration. And that's why you need lots of mitochondria in cells that undergo uh, secretion. Okay then, uh, moving on to the last question now. Um, this question has been uh, tackled uh, in an earlier uh, question uh, in uh, paper uh, BY1 again from January 2009, and it was question four. Uh, so I've actually covered um, the answer to this question in a, in a previous uh, video. Uh, if you haven't already watched that video, I would suggest you watch it because I uh, I did draw a couple of diagrams there to uh, to explain uh, basically the the answer to this this very question, which is asking you at label C and G show the same type of organelle. Explain why they differ in uh, appearance. So if I go back up uh, to the diagram. Okay, there's uh, there's C and there's G. All right, C and G are both mitochondria. All right, but one mitochondria, in fact, C is is a very long, elongated structure of the mitochondrion, and G is more of a circular uh, representation of the mitochondrion. And I've explained in my previous video that uh, a, a, a drawing 
uh, or even an image of a cell under the microscope is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional cell and the organelles actually lie in different planes and when you take a slice through the cell uh, you're actually cutting through the the organelles in in different planes okay uh, so please look at uh, the video from uh, uh, January uh, 2009 question 4 um, it'll be under uh, the section on um, cell structure okay um, right so uh, that's really all we need to, to put in there for one mark is to say that the, uh, the, the cell has been cut in different planes uh, we can now look then at uh, the mark scheme briefly okay um, I don't think there's anything too much uh, to say about it. Okay, uh, part B then, they've got lots of different options to the functioning of ENF. All right, so uh, I've only mentioned two uh, functions for E and two functions for F. All right, but you can there read yourself the other uh, acceptable answers that the... Um, uh, examiner would have accepted okay down to see then um, about why you need lots of mitochondria uh, in the cell okay well it's because um, uh, you, you're actually producing hormones that require ATP uh, secretory cells uh, involve active processes they're very metabolically active they carry out lots of reactions and uh, all the processes there are um, energy uh, dependent ATP dependent okay and lastly I've said there that uh, ATP is is produced uh, by C which of course is the mitochondria um, so uh, there you go that's another uh, example of a cell structure question okay and uh, I hope that helped